love the feeling of being renewed. To protect the things most precious to you. To stay beautiful every single day. To breathe just like we do because you are truly delicate. Protecting the ones who've been with us through the years with Sailac Care, the only wood coating that truly protects you. Sailac Wood Coatings from Jet. Welcome to Lindy News Week. I'm Ashwini Vedakan and we begin with a roundup of local news. As of Friday, the number of COVID-19 patients in Sri Lanka stands at 523,550 with the number of recoveries reaching 478,761, while the number of deaths now stands at 13,229. The State Minister of National Heritage, Rural Arts and Performing Arts said that the Prime Minister has instructed to honour the young singing sensation Johanny de Silva with a state award for bringing glory to the country in the international arena. The Cabinet of Ministers have granted approval to appoint a committee of skilled professionals representing the public and private sectors to report on the acts, rules and regulations required to attract investments from companies involved in digital banking, blockchain technology and cryptocurrency mining. The new committee is vested with the responsibility of approving cryptocurrency mining companies to invest in the country and allowing the Board of Investment to take necessary steps under the provisions of the BOI Act No. 4 of 1978 and related amendments. The Director General of the South Asia Department of the Asian Development Bank, or ADB, assured the President that the bank will support the promotion of SMEs in Sri Lanka. Having already provided a 750 million US dollar concessional loan last year for domestic projects, the ADB promised to take steps to increase this amount to 1 billion US dollars next year. The government aims to reduce the use of fossil fuels and uplift the income and living standards of rural communities. To this end, the president requested technical assistance for the production of organic fertilizer and nitrogen extraction, as well as guidance to increase the forest cover through economical, viable cultivations. Popularized as the largest container ship, the Everace arrived at the port city of Colombo on the 5th of October, following its maiden voyage that lasted for 16 days. The A-type vessel is approximately 400 meters in length and 61.5 meters wide, and has a design draft of 14.5 meters and can cruise at a speed of 22.6 knots. With a nominal carrying capacity of 23,992 20-foot equivalent units, Everest is sailing under the flag of Panama. Moving on to business news, in an exclusive interview with LMD, seasoned professional Vish Govindasamy cites that competitiveness in a global market, the ease and costs of doing business, financial literacy, human capital availability and corruption are the main bottlenecks impacting the country's ability to attract FDIs. Noting that there is significant room for improvement in these areas, he mentioned that the local sector continues to attract FDIs despite the limitations. The Department of Census and Statistics revealed that the Producer Price Index, or PPI for July, stood at 157.2. The year-on-year -year increase and the month-on-month -month decrease of the index as at July was reported at 8.6 and 2.6% respectively. The World Travel and Tourism Council recently revealed that the Sri Lankan economy could incur losses exceeding 260 million rupees. For each day, it remains on the UK's red list for travel. As one of the nation's top inbound markets, contributing 10% of inbound arrivals in 2019, its listing means that even fully vaccinated travellers are mandated for quarantine in hotels and bear the cost for COVID-19 tests. The WTTC Vice President remarked that an acceleration in the country's vaccination program is required to kickstart the recovery process. 
The parity between the US dollar and the Sri Lankan rupee was down by 202 rupees and 98 cents on Friday. According to reports from the Colombo Stock Exchange, the All Share Price Index or ASPI on Friday stood at 9,678.89. We'll be back with the latest in global news after a short break. Thank you so much for all the support you gave me, guys. Okay. Today, I got promoted. Those who spread goodness radiate happiness to everyone around them. Introducing LOLC Finance Credit Cards. Fuel the goodness in you. Welcome back and here's the latest in global news. As of Friday, the global COVID-19 infected patient number stands at 237 million. With the number of recoveries reaching 214 million, and the number of deaths have now surpassed 4.8 million. The price of Brent crude oil on Friday hovered between $82.19 and $83.09. Taking a look at the global calendar, the special events for the upcoming week are the parliamentary elections in Iraq on the 10th and the presidential elections of the Kape Baird on the 17th. Meanwhile, the Virtual ADB Bank Indonesia APAEA Joint Workshop on Monetary Policy, Banking and Finance and Central Banking will be held on the 15th. Reuters revealed that New Zealand has abandoned its strategy of eliminating COVID-19 amid a persistent Delta outbreak and will instead look to live with the virus and control its spread as vaccinations rise. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern stated that it would be incredibly difficult to get the figure down to zero given the present circumstances and that a lockdown affecting 1.7 million people in Auckland will be scaled back in phases. And that's all the news we have for you this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching and stay safe.